On today's episode, the easiest no-bake dessert ever, we are gonna make cannoli icebox cake. So as you know, I am a chiropractor by day and a food blogger at night, so I love to crack and chop. So I like to test all my recipes on the weekdays. And I just took my bowl and I put it in the refrigerator so it got nice and cold. In this bowl, I have mascarpone cheese, which is sweet cream cheese. You can use cream cheese if you don't have mascarpone. One cup of ricotta cheese and three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar. A teaspoon of cinnamon for a little warm background flavor. A teaspoon of vanilla. I use the cap to measure that teaspoon. Some lemon zest. This just brightens it up a little bit. My friend Christy from college, she was my bestie. We both went to Quinnipiac together. She actually had this at her wedding and she brings this to me every time she comes to visit a cannoli cake. So this is for her. And then finally, really cold, heavy cream. Okay, and I'm gonna mix this until we get soft peaks. Ah, uh, look at that. Beautiful, fluffy mountains of sweet, cheesy cream. I'm gonna take some semi-sweet chocolate chips. Semi-sweet chocolate chips have much more cocoa in it, so it tastes more chocolatey and deep, rich flavor, whereas milk chocolate has more sugar in milk. I'm gonna take a scoop of the cannoli cream and I'm gonna put it on the bottom of the plate so that we have some way to get our cookies to stick. And this is super easy. We're just literally gonna layer cookies, cream, cookies, cream, until we have no more cookies left and a little cream on top. I have one in the middle and four around the sides, right on a plate. If you have a cake stand, you can use a cake stand too. And we're gonna put another big scoop of the cannoli cream on them. The first layer you might have to hold on to some of the cookies. I love saying cookies like that, that's the way Tom says it. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing, one in the middle, and then I'm gonna just spray it out like a flower, so wherever there's an empty area of cookie on the bottom, that's where I'm gonna do it. I was on the Food Network, um, on the premiere, Tom bought me a cannoli cream unicorn cake. Oh my God, it's my favorite cake ever. And if you go on to chophappy.com to this recipe, I will post a picture so you can see it. It's so cute and it was so fun, all my friends came. Okay, and we're just gonna keep doing this until we have no more cookies. Top layer, I just put all the rest of the whipped cream on there. Spread this out on top, just like this. Going to get even more chocolatey. At least four to six hours, but overnight would be even better. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. Oh, sweet icebox cake, and yeah, I love you. Okay, we're gonna cut right into here. So when it's in the fridge, those chocolate chip cookies get nice and soft. Look at that. Ah, oh, layers of happiness and job well done from the day. Here we go. You can get this recipe on chophappy.com and don't forget to look at the unicorn cake that Tom got me. And cheers to sweet days, sweet weekdays that are easy, happy, and grab the cake by the handful because life is short and you deserve a lot. So here we go. Mm, sweet creamy and cheesy, and it tastes like a combination of a chocolate chip cookie and a cannoli went to the party together. Mm, I'm already eating before Tom comes home. Love you guys, have a great day. You rock, and remember, follow your dreams.